Let's just do this because it's fun. Ron DeSantis, we have uh, we're a week away from the next uh, Republican uh, debate. It's going to be on November 8th. I think it is. It's a Wednesday, Wednesday evening. Um, uh, this is uh, Ron DeSantis showing up in the Patrick Bet David uh, podcast. Yeah, uh, where's your signature, Sam? Sam you, you, may have, you may have sat in this very s- chair. Yeah, did you sign <laughs> one of those? Lo- what is that like a like a lockbox no, you see at a bank or it, something? It's a former bank, and that's actually the former uh, safe of the bank like you walk in it's got a huge safe door and they bought that and i guess maybe that uh, i mean it's their branding right like they're always talking about markets and and case yeah. studies and he's a businessman who's buying his way into yeah. the uh the podcast business and um i did not sign that i was not invited to uh i didn't realize odd makes me feel a little bad in retrospect come on PDD. um but uh, here is uh, Ron DeSantis. PDB, incidentally, is a big uh, Donald Trump guy. Um, I mean, he doesn't, he's a, he doesn't try and be explicit anything, but he's a, he's a, sort of a Trump uh, supporter. And uh, this, although I have to say, I did appreciate. Okay, you talk about attention. Uh, are you the type of person, like I have people around me that love to say, hey, Pat, you got something between your teeth. These are the annoying people in your life, right? Hey, Pat, pull your zipper up. You know, hey, Pat, do this. The, the, <laughs> hey, pull one of your socks is lower than the other one. Good I'm start. sure your marketing team points out how they're trying to troll you in the marketplace. Okay, I'm sure they're doing that. Can you bring this one clip? I know you were on, uh, 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 what do you call it? On... Uh, uh, what was it? Bill Maher. And Bill Maher talked about the boots. I've seen you walk with these boots. Go ahead and play this clip. This on TikTok went viral. It doesn't have a million views. It doesn't have, you know, 10 million views. This thing's got 1.2 million likes. And and some people are wondering. How, how, what are they? I don't even I haven't so what, seen that. What there's, they've not shown this to you. Okay. No. What they're trying to say with this is that in your boots, you have heels. <laughs> No, no, no. That's yeah, what they're no, trying those, to those are just standard off the rack. Um, Lucchese, um, uh, how, how tall are you? Book, how tall are you, Governor? How tall? Five eleven. Five eleven. Okay. Why no, I just saw somebody on Twitter shooting? say this actually, and I thought it was pretty funny. That five eleven apparently is a that's a lie. That's a lie. Yeah. yeah. No, no, not that he's not five eleven. It's like whenever any guy says they're five eleven, mm-hmm. that's a lie. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, if you're five eleven, you say you're six feet, mm-hmm. and that's what I do. <laughs> now, but technically, I'm 5'11 three quarters. So I'm rounding up. I mean, it makes sense. Understood. And then but when I your did, hair is kind of big, it, it just I'm not it even makes up the difference. So. I'm not even including Whoa. my hair. Whoa. I, I believe because when I measure, I, do, I push down as much as I can on that. So. Intellectually honest of you. Yeah. Uh, but 5'11 three quarters. But I say <laughs> six feet. Um, the, I, the, those boots are... I. I, it makes me feel bad because I don't know how like it, the pain associated with. I it know. Super, I know. I mean, it's impressive. It, but... it honestly, it's like the modern day version of a of a corset for these kind for this kind of presidential candidate that he's completely putting himself through this gender. How pissed surgery. do you think Ron DeSantis is right here? Yeah, I know. I can't. I, I love how we pretended not to know. No, it's the most online campaign in the history of the Republican Party. I mean, they announced on Twitter spaces to just be like, hey, what's up, Elon? I'm an edgelord, too. You, they haven't seen this. This is like the biggest. This is the only thing we're talking about with his campaign at this point. Who knew? All right, let's keep going. This is great. <laughs> how tall are you, Governor? How tall? 5'11. 5'11? Okay. Wh- why don't you wear tennis shoes and dress shoes? Uh, I do wear tennis shoes when I work out. Yeah. <laughs> you do? Yep. Okay. I got a gift for you. I'd love for you to wear. No, pause okay. it for one second. I okay. Shot. Here's like, how would you react? <laughs> If this you weren't wearing these these lifts, you'd be like, Oof. dude, are you serious? Here, yeah. are we really gonna do this? I mean, you remember when Donald Trump uh, had uh, Jimmy Fallon, uh, you know, r- rub his Tuss hair, touch his hair, yeah, yes. to say if I mean, it's real. Yeah, yeah, I mean that's um, and you know, good for Jimmy Fallon for humanizing uh, Donald Trump. But in this instance, um, if you're Ron DeSantis and you want to put this to bed. What do you do? Take your shoes off. But look at, check these out. Look at his face. Look at the pain oh, on his he face as he's trying mad. to smile through it. And and you know what you can Squinting see? Squinting at it. Which yeah. boots are those again? You can see, oh, what? Uh, two million views? I never heard of that. Um, and then look at, you can tell he's getting uptight because he buttons his coat after he turns back. Are we, uh, did we go back a little bit? Okay, watch, watch him button his coat. 
All right, go ahead. And then, uh, <laughs> and then he's also really quick because um, uh, Patrick Bet David offers him some shoes, and he immediately says it's unethical for me to t- accept any gifts, so that he doesn't have to try the shoes on and take his existing shoes off. Go ahead. Sure, they're doing that. Can you bring this one clip? I know you were on uh, 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 what do you call it on. Uh, uh, what was it? Bill Maher and Bill Maher talked about the boots. I've seen you walk with these boots. Go ahead and play this clip. This on TikTok went viral. It doesn't have a million views. It doesn't have, you know, 10 million views. This thing's got 1.2 million likes. And and some people are wondering. How, what are they? I don't even know. I haven't so what, seen that. What they're, they've not shown this to you. Okay. No, what they're trying to say with this is that in your <laughs> boots, you have heels. <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah, no, no, those say. are just standard off the rack um, Lucchese. Um, how, how, Lucchese tall are you? how tall are you, Governor? How tall are you? Button his coat. Button okay. his coat, right? Button his coat. Why don't right you there. wear tennis shoes and dress shoes? Uh, I do wear tennis shoes when I work out. Yeah. 100%. You do? Yeah. Okay. I got a gift for you. I'd love for you to wear. Okay. I shop at Ferragamo. Okay. <laughs> and. So relatable. I, uh, I don't accept gifts. I can't accept I, it. I, I hold <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to put it here, and Ferragamo can get a nice sponsorship. And then <laughs> okay. if you wear it, you fared. I know. It, it, no, but I here's think. the thing. I mean, I think with just now how politics buttons. works <laughs> is, um, you know, Yogi Berra, when he was um, uh, in the Yankees, they said, you know, Yogi, he doesn't look like a Yankee. You know, he doesn't do this. Yeah. And Yogi's basically like, okay, you know, if you, if you say I'm ugly, that's fine. But, you know, you don't hit a baseball with your face. And so what we're doing is, you know, really, I think, doing the, the issues, the leadership. People that are poking at you for different things, that's fine. But ultimately, that is not, I think it's a sign of strength. I think if people had, if they could say he was a horrible governor, he was this, he was that, then they would definitely do it. Um, But Mm -hmm. uh, they don't do that because I don't think that they have much there. We've been an exemplary leader. We've we've gotten things done. We have been. Uh, We would be somebody that would be obviously a really strong candidate. That's part of the reason the media attacks me and everything like that. So I would say this too. I think if your marketing media talks to you regularly, uh, they either share with you but you 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 got such a busy schedule i'm running night companies half the time i don't even know what's going on people tell me did you see this i'm like i can't see everything so i'm sure you're not seeing everything but i'm a big fan of yours okay i'm not a fan of your marketing team i'm just not and i'm i can say that comfortably you can say i have one of the best marketing teams no problem because i think your book was a miss i think there's a lot of opportunity that's been out there that was a miss i was on a fight one time with bill o'reilly why was it a mess uh i think your book could have done very well. And it's I think the number one book in the country for two weeks. Yes, yeah, not a long time though. You you're you're a guy that should be the leading candidate for president. <laughs> oh, yeah. you, were the, you were the best governor during COVID. Hands down. Nobody did it better than you. No one. You had a fight, you stood up to these bullies, so to all these a-holes He's that were trying so to mad. manipulate the voters like me, and we were walking around as if we're weird, and you stood up for those people. And I loved it. I respected it. As, as if I we're weird. defending you constantly, and I'm sitting there saying, Why are we not telling this story? Why are we not going out there selling millions of copies of this book on what you did during COVID? So that to me was a was a missed opportunity. By the way, your marketing team can hate me. I've taken no, no, well, talked well, to most. Well, just giving my opinion with, on that. With the book, I don't. Yeah. I didn't really have a marketing team. I mean, you know, you're doing it, and people uh, sell I it. I can't even watch. This is amazing. Oh, uh, the courage and, 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 and you know, Patrick Bet David does this. This is the way that he like he is a salesman and so this is the way that he knows like he can he can both both like he knows what he's doing to Ron DeSantis and uh, his audience doesn't hey, look he's being very respectful he says he really likes Ron DeSantis <laughs> But yeah, you're I mean, lying about your height and your book's been a failure and your marketing team sucks. And... But it's not his fault. It's not his fault. Yeah. Like, you know, Matt, like, Matt, for instance, like Matt, I think is great. I think Matt is great. It's just that the way he talks yeah. is doesn't allow people to realize how great he is. I just because also, when he talks, yeah. he sounds so horrible. And, and Matt, and I just don't he's like great. your your the, your body wash team. Like your, I mean, I like you, but you smell so bad. That's and the that, thing. Matt. It's just like you've got to change up the body wash <laughs> Matt, team. If you're, you're wash, so you great, all you, want. you should not smell so bad. Yeah, <laughs> but you do. You smell so bad. <laughs> I'm going to try to tell Matt. He's so great. Like, I wish that your smell was as great as I think you are. Yeah, yeah. Left but it's really at, not. <laughs> left Recording should be at 1,500 patrons by now. 
<laughs> put it up on the screen. Put it up on oh the screen. Uh, <laughs> uh, I will just say, like, um, I, I looked all up and down the Lucchese uh, um, boots, which I've never heard of before, but Lucchese Off boots. Rack, um, yeah. And none of those, they all look like cowboy boots. I'm so looking at it too. When right. he said, like, this Lucchese, and then he, like, kind of, like, mumbled something, I think he was Off the rack. That it's, he said, Off the rack, Lucchese. Oh, really? Well, yeah, I'm not seeing it? any, but I'm, I am seeing a uh, political article. Three expert shoemakers say Ron DeSantis is probably wearing height boosters. <laughs> yeah. Has the, has the, uh, I think that, that article guy was waiting. the, I think that article where was the menswear guy, yeah. Derek Guy, oh, talking good. to three uh, shoe shoe experts saying that he's most likely wearing lifters. Oh, whatever yeah, right. <laughs> but, and, uh, but honestly, if Ron DeSantis had a personality, he'd take his shoe off and he'd go, look. Yeah, and, here's what they and are. And then go into the whole thing of like, when they can't attack your policy, blah, 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 whatever it is. Yeah. I mean, but he honestly, I feel like, I thought he was going to cry. Oh, yeah. me too. Yeah. I thought he was going to cry. His face is so red. And and also, like, the cowboy boots I'm looking at, cowboy boots do not have, like, a crinkled, almost like, you know, uh, the leather being so elastic. It's much more straight up. We saw that. It's almost trying to hug his calf muscle there. I mean, not to get too far into it. It's not what a cowboy boot looks like. Why don't you wear dress shoes? I mean, I've... Uh, they they always talk about too how like uh, uh, the F Fetterman and and the left or they they don't know how to dress or be men anymore. Hey, buddy, Ron DeSantis, get some menswear. I just experts. I, I can't imagine the amount of humiliation he must feel and the idea that like how is he gonna go like. <laughs> Like, and now he's sort of locked into those boots for the rest of his life. Yeah. This is in Politico? Yeah, Politico has been doing some good, important work on this. And I just want to go to this. Yes, perfect. There it is. Um, bingo. Yeah. Um, so we'll zoom in here. So we have a, 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 a diorama here with a, a several things marked. Uh, let me just zoom out a little bit so we can read the... Uh, um, you see how crinkled it is? Like how... Yeah, it's like to make room for the heel. So we'll go there. Shoemaker Nicholas Templeman notes that his uh, unusually high wrinkle in the boot suggesting DeSantis ankle sits up high too. According to cowboy hat, cowboy bootmaker Graham Ebner, the leather appears stretched here, further suggesting a lift heel. Yeah. <laughs> Three. Emma Ebner knows what she's talking about. I know. About. I, I have boots. Ebner says uh, DeSantis' foot seems to end here, causing the toe of the boot to curl upward. <laughs> uh, for Ebner believes this knot comes from a joint at the base of DeSantis' big toe sticking out. So, yeah. Um, I wonder if he had to have his feet, like, um, uh, broken yeah. just to fit into the shoe. <laughs> Like He's a, like a ballerina, right? Oh like when God. they have, when they break their toes Look, to fit yeah. into those. I into think those we have shoes. to be we have to be true to our principles and that all gender affirming sort of measures um, we support. So, uh, but I just don't you. understand like why this was so important for him to to do. Uh, because you can't tell how tall a guy is on TV, anyways. He's yeah. he was just afraid right. of, of Trump. It, it, it honestly like that and like uh, his weight loss stuff like why are you so focused on these very superficial things i mean because uh, he Chris hates christy himself. i yeah. mean because yeah. he hates himself and he should well you should hate all him. i know is <laughs> if none of I'm his sorry. opponents bring this up uh, a week from now or if there isn't like if vivek doesn't say like uh, you know, uh, I would like, uh, you know, Governor DeSantis to stand up, yeah. stand on your own two feet. Or if there, ha there has to be right. somebody who says like, you know, those are big shoes to fit or yeah. fill or, or, or something like, you know, put the right foot forward. Unlike or, Ron, I'll give Fauci the boot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Governor DeSantis, you're talking nonsense on stilts right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Somebody, exactly. That's Bergen, right? That, Bergen should come in with that. Like, right. um, <sighs> They're about to go to commercial break. Ron wears heels. Ron Mr. Ron. Governor Burgum. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Mic. Oh, yeah, it can't right. be Trump. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> 